It was. Kubo, I did not see this coming. What a surprise. Did y'all see this coming? Because I didn't. It's like, I was thinking about this character, but Kubo gave us this character. It's like, yo, I, I did not see this character showing up in front of Zoraki. It's like, Kubo, he, there was no hints. There was nothing. You just dropped this huge surprise bomb on top of my eyes. It's like, yo, I didn't see it coming, man. I did not see it coming. Really, I really did not. Okay. If you don't get out of my face right here, right now, I'm going to smack you, okay? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It was pretty obvious, right? Right? Pretty obvious. It was the king of crust. The guy with orange hair, okay? The guy, one of the people I do not like in the series, okay? Okay, Ichigo. Of all the crusts he fucks in the series, it had to be this crust, okay? To save Zoraki, right? Ichigo. I mean, he was the first to leave, last to arrive. Go figure, right? That's, that makes per that makes totally sense, right? He's the first to leave, last to get there. Let's fucking eat you go for you. People bleach up to 581. See, can we talk about Sinji for a minute? It's like, Kubo, like, what the fuck? It's like, it's hard to say this because Sinji is like one of my favorite characters in the series, but Kubo has Sinji do dumb shit like this in his chapter. It's like, every time Sinji open up his fucking mouth, it can either be to his people or to the opponent. He's always getting fucking exposed, okay? He he explains that if they don't save Zoraki and if Zoraki dies, they are screwed, okay? They will be exposed 24-7, okay? If Zoraki is dead, that is our big chance of trying to deal with the Sturmers and have a fighting chance, okay? And, you know, guess who's there? Basby's like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that's... Okay, maybe I should not have you guys go over there then. Oh, burn finger three. Fucking expose Sinji and Momo and Omada and Soifan right there and there. It's like, God damn. Sinji, stop it. Just keep your mouth... Just, just stop. Just stop. You know you got... You know you in enemy territory, right? You just... just there's enemy everywhere. You don't know who's listening. Just keep your mouth shut. Just shh. Shush. Stop talking. Just stop. And you know what's funny? Oh, my God. That act like Zoraki came in straight beasting. That act like Zoraki came 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 in straight exposing Storm Raiders. Zoraki did not do jack shit. He came back doing nothing. He didn't do nothing. He didn't. It's so funny. Like Zoraki had this crazy moment with Unahana. He's supposed to be in this new improved Zoraki. No holes barred, nothing holding him back. The chains are broken. With the eye patch. Or with the eye patch on, it doesn't fucking matter, okay? He's a new Zoraki, okay? New potential, new power, straight fucking serious, okay? He comes back, has a boring fight with this crust fuck kid, Grimmy. He uses Shikai, not on an opponent, but on a rock. After that boring fight, after he let the opponent expose his damn self, he gets... Jump by these three sluts and fucking loses. It's like Zoraki lose. And all these Zoraki fanboys want to damage control. Like, oh, fuck it, the space. Oh, his inner organs. It's like, you act like Zoraki is, is fucking Renji or Rukio or, or any Joe Schmo. Zoraki is Zoraki. He's a fucking monster. Hence why everybody keep calling him a monster. Because Zoraki is a fucking monster, okay? Zoraki has been jumped before. He has fucking... Went through worse shit than, than this. And that's fucking factual, okay? If you think that this shit can stop Zoraki, you don't know Zoraki. You don't know fucking Bleach, okay? It's sad for you guys to think that, oh, shit, he was in space for a couple of seconds. His inner organs. Yeah, and what did Zoraki do? He brushed it off, okay? Like a fucking G. Like Zoraki is supposed to do. Shit's nothing to him. He's a fucking brute. He's a fucking tank, okay? Especially after his... his whole ordeal with Unahana. It's so funny how Zoraki would sit there and be like, oh, I'm about to die. It's like, you witnessed death firsthand. Unahana, you know what death is. Death was knocking on the door. Death was in front of your face. Unahana. Kubo fucked over Zoraki. Point blank period. He fucked him over. He fucked him over so, so Ichigo can have a grand entrance. Fucking exposed, get out of my fucking face. He fucked over Zoraki for Ichigo to have a grand entrance. 
Zoraki did not even unleash his true potential. He did not even unleash a fucking a percentage of his newfound potential. But he's getting fucking bopped by the slut bitches group. Like, come on. No. Nah. You got Rookie Ranger and everybody's like, oh, he, he sent that Rookie Ryatsu. Everybody got in the sky. Something's falling. It's fucking Angel. He hits He hits a fucking building. And the slut bitch group is like, well, he hit the well, like, Somebody hit the building, huh? The next thing you know it, next thing you know it, He's right behind him, and they was like, "What the fuck? Shit, how you get how you get in front of us? Like how you how you get behind us? Uh, you know, a little hint on how fast Ichigo is, how his speed increase. I mean, he's in the fucking soul pass. I mean, Renji and Ruka are moving fast, especially Renji. Of course, Ichigo's speed will increase. Uh, you see a glimpse of Ichigo's new Zanpakuto. Looks different, shaped differently. It's on his back. Uh, I want to say in the action. You know what? You know what? Ichigo, like, you know what? Dude can't fight, but he has all this fucking shit. Like, he has all this shit given to him, but he still can't fight. Okay, yeah, he fucking soul pass, but I will be the judge of that. Okay, I know when a person can fight and cannot fight. Okay, and at the end of the day, it's fucking Bleach and it's Kubo. If Kubo can fuck over Zoraki like he just did, then yeah, anything can happen, okay? Anything can happen. But yeah, fucking Ichigo with a crusty ass smile, like, I can't have saved you, Zoraki. Get your, sit your crying ass, baby ass, booty ass, crusty ass the fuck down. Ain't nobody buying that shit, man. Like, get the fuck out of my face, man. I cannot believe this motherfucker has the audacity to sit here and be like, with that horrific fucking smile, like, I can't have saved it, Rocky. Bitch, it was not that long ago you was crying on the ground, licking the boot off a full shitter. Crying about your powers. Now you got your powers back. You're cocky. That's, that's the shit with Ichigo. He gets powers back. He gets cocky. When he doesn't have his powers back, he's, uh, oh my god, like a like a bitch. Anyways, man, Ichigo appeared. Pretty much the whole the the basis of the chapter is Ichigo appeared. He's returned to Seizuraki. He's gonna fight the slug group bitches. He's gonna win. That's pretty. That's like that's a no brainer. He's gonna beat all four of them. Just straight bop. Okay, bop all of them. But yeah, man. Uh, I'll see you guys later, okay? And yeah, that's yeah, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, Ichigo's crusty. I don't like. Him.